you may have been wondering, you know, what sort of what that was all about there. This is sort of a new thing I'm I'm, I'm trying out. Um, I'll try to make myself look big <laughs> <laughs> to, sort, to, to establish my dominance over you. Uh, I've, I've heard it works with bears. I'm not entirely sure it works on audiences. Uh, I'm going to keep on trying that. I'm going to keep on trying it. It's got to work one of these days. You know it. Um, it's got a quick one to start, to start off proceedings. Uh, that incredibly long intro. Uh, why are the aspirins in the jungle? Thank you. No, because the cost of quiet transforms production will be exorbitantly high, resulting in a net loss for the company involved. <laughs> I know what you're thinking though, Christmas cracker jokes are fucking up the game. <laughs> um, <laughs> my mum was Chinese, my dad was Japanese. Look how I turned out. I'm a more well rounded person because of multi ethnic upbringing. <laughs> <laughs> um, my mum and dad, they, they had sort of quite odd views uh, about, about comedy, uh, quite opposing views, if you like. Um, my mum said, you know, laughter is the best medicine, uh, but my dad said it was contagious. <laughs> <laughs> so for a long time I was unsure what to do. So unsure what to do. My mum had a lot of mottos though. Another one of hers was, um, you can't have your cake and eat it too. She was a shit dinner lady. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I made him one, he recently got a spot of bother. Um, what he's done is made a habit out of rubbernecking traffic accidents to get these people who sort of rubberneck. He's, that's his hobby now. What he does is he'll go past a crash, you know, have a good old nosy, get to the bottom of the road, turn around, come back and do it all again. As I say, it landed in a spot of hot water, people clocked onto what he was doing, and uh, he actually lost his job as an ambulance driver because of it. <laughs> um, apparently, that's considered poor form. Um, Another one of my friends, he was in a car crash himself. No one tells you a car crash tonight. I've just got two at the start here. I'll save the rest till the end to sort of see how we get on. <laughs> he, was in, he was in a car crash himself. What happened was he was on his way to a fancy dress party as a horse, as you do, and he went around in another car and he ended up breaking his leg. Uh, so they shot him. <laughs> <laughs> but the weird thing was, he wasn't wearing the horse costume at the time. <laughs> I was in the boot. People just fucking hated him. He was a massive racist. Um, <laughs> it's true, that's true. Um, the other day I decided to get one of these uh, one of these neck tattoos. I don't know if you've sort of seen these, heard of these at all. One of these neck tattoos. They normally reside on the necks of quite hard men. Uh, obviously why I decided to throw my hat into the ring. Uh, they, they, normally, they typically they say things like mother or shaniqua. Mine said manga love. Uh, which you might think is a bit of an odd choice, you know. But there is nothing behind the madness. Because when I go to the barber and he asks me where I've been on holiday, <laughs> all I need to do to save myself the bother of small talk is just to sort of incline my head forward ever so slightly. Like the shoes. Um, and you know, I don't have to don't have to bother with small talk, which is fantastic. But, was, um, but it is a bit of a double edged sword, uh, because my girlfriend, Cabos, uh, <laughs> she thought I was having an affair. Uh, so <laughs> tough one to tough one to explain away. So we ended up breaking up, um, unfortunately. But um, I bounced back. Started seeing a new girl, uh, Falaraki, her name is. <laughs> um, I've got to say, Fala, she is an animal in the bedroom. The things she, the things she does. Can't even, the other day she took shit in my wardrobe. Um, <laughs> I now don't allow all the soft furnishings as a result of that. <laughs> Learn the lesson the hard way. Um, but, uh, yeah, animals are better. Uh, but she, she's actually, uh, when I met her, she said she had a bubbly personality. Um, actually, turns out it's the Benz. She's a deep sea diver. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the other day, I don't know if uh, so you've got any of these in Manchester at all. I'm not sure if we've sort of we've got this all. But we stayed in one of these themed hotels. Uh, you know, each hotel, each you know, room has a different theme to it. You've got uh, Pyra and uh, Caveman and things like that. We've got the Medieval Suite. Uh, and actually, I wasn't really expecting much, but it was, it, it was, it was uncanny. It was actually down to the, down to the finest detail. 
Uh, we had to shit in a bucket and throw out the window, <laughs> and uh, we both got cholera from the water supply. <laughs> um, I found a raccoon in general, though, she was loving it. Um, <laughs> me, me, not so much. Uh, still better than Premier in that, so there we go. <laughs> if, if, if anyone's hit to find the 29 pounds,